Well, hi everyone, welcome back to the Music Chap channel. Here we are today to talk to you about a major one. Yes, this is big. This is one of the albums that I've listened to over and over again over the last, what, few months, um, for sure. And uh, this is Dawn FM by The Weeknd. So yes, as I said, this is really good stuff. Some of you might know that I am a fan of The Weeknd and since um, the release of uh, Beauty Behind the Madness that I have followed his work very closely and what can I say? I'm a fan, I really like his work, I really like uh, what he has done so far, his creativity, his uh, ability to put forward very simply really good songs, his ideas are simple yet extremely effective and um, impeccably produced and of course it's something that I really enjoy listening to. You know The Weeknd by now, um, he has these spot-on vocals, he sits within the tenor range um, but he has these seamless transitions between chest and head voice, it, it's something really unique to him and that he does effortlessly. It's just amazing how he can deliver um, so effortlessly, it's just, I just, I'm astonished all the time, basically. Then of course, the whole songwriting is just really, really good, and the synths, of course, lots of them, we like them. All of this makes me want to listen to his songs, it's just, I mean, all the time, as I said. He's definitely one of the few artists of this day and age that consistently delivers great material, never stops surprising the fans and the audience, and he simply is a machine of like delivering great songs all the time. And Don FM is the fifth studio album of The Weeknd, and to some extent this record is like the usual full-on The Weeknd album, putting forward lots of bangers, lots of really great songs, catchy choruses, but still he does explore new areas around the synth disco pop um, sound, which is what makes him really very successful in this niche. Is like the best, I think. A very particular thing about this record is the fact that if you're listening to it on your AirPods or away from the computer or without looking, uh, you cannot really tell when one song is ending and the other one is like starting. You cannot tell because they're kind of collated, so it's difficult to tell at times. But again, it's due to the aesthetics and the way that he wanted the product and the actual album to sound like. And yes, I like it. It only adds to the sense of occasion that he has and um, the way that he puts his songs together, it, it, it's always purposeful. And all of this genius way of uh, composing and putting a record together, all this after the already brilliant After Hours album, which was released only in 2020. So he never stops. This guy simply never rests. It's just insane. So this is a 16 track album and there's lots of different ambiences and uh, uh, moments uh, of the record. One thing that I don't like and that we saw on the uh, most recent Depeche Mode uh, album, Memento Mori, is that the record pretty much sounds the same all the time. The tone doesn't really change and that's something that you do not see in in this Dawn FM. It, it has moments. You, you can tell that uh, tracks are different and you can easily pick the one that you want to listen to so it's it's not flat so you have obviously different moments which is good and then it's all to do with innovation and being creative because the actual experience of listening to this album as i said you cannot really tell when you actually change track because it's all put together in a, in a way that really is trying to make you feel like you're listening to a radio station rather than a standalone record with track one, two, three, if that makes sense. So the whole experience, and, and you hear these noises and static and stuff, uh, which basically kind of 
adds to the experience. So again, it's the aesthetics that he wanted to create and how we wanted to deliver the record to the audience. It's cool. There are some really cracking songs in this album. I'll tell you what my favorites are in a bit, but most of them would be those that are associated with a more synth, like 80s pop kind of sound. And he does that brilliantly. Most of the time, the synths are really in your face. Um, and even at times, the vocals are kind of in the background at times. And it's like from time to time, his vocals become an actual instrument. And doesn't it doesn't sound like his vocals, but it sounds like an instrument, which is like a synth. But actually, it's him singing. So again, very inventive and uh, really cool stuff. There's like this particular ambience that he creates, which is kind of goes back to, to, to the 80s pop sound, I think. And adding to this whole inventive tone that he brings to the record, he even has Jim Carrey coming in, doing this spoken word voiceover type of thing in one of the songs. So, so yes, you have to listen to this. As for my favorite tracks, I mean, it's pretty much a no-brainer. How Do I Make You Love Me, Take My Breath, Gasoline and Sacrifice, I would say, um, are my favorite songs. As for less favorite, it's difficult in, in such a good album. But I mean, there's like 16 songs, so I was able to pick two. Best Friends and Every Angel is Terrifying. Didn't really like that. So overall, my score, <laughs> Um, for this Dawn FM will be 9 out of 10. To me, this is a hell of a record, quite possibly one of the best releases um, in 2022. And it's definitely one that you should listen to and go back to it. If I were you, I would save it in my library and uh, every now and then keep exploring these songs because as I said, there's 16 songs. There's a lot of good quality stuff and there is definitely one song to match your mood. Production, again, is top notch. It's really well written. And again, within this genre, it, to me, this record is really near perfection. And it, it's a true statement to, to the actual work that he has been delivering. It's just top notch. And even more so when you think that album after album he keeps the bar high and uh, it's just amazing how he keeps being so creative being very careful with the production and uh, with the actual product itself so yes definitely a favorite um, so go ahead check this one out and let me know what you think about it and if you agree with my favorite and less favorite tracks on this one um, so thank you very much for watching again and i will see you on the next one Cheers. Thank you.